single men waiting to come out here and meet y'all. So when they come around this corner, they'll come out one by one. If you're feeling him, if he's your type, he checks off all of your check boxes. Do not pop your balloon. However, you know, if there's something he said that you're like, oh, red flag, or you know, you just really can't see yourself dating this guy, go ahead and pop your balloon. And I'll go over to a few of you, see why you ended up popping. You guys ready? Yes. Okay, with that being said, let's go ahead and bring out our first single guy. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold this. How you doing, Alet? Good, good. How are you? Can I'm we get great. your name? My name is Brian. Brian, how? Not, not Brian. Y'all, y'all remember Brian? Brian was the short dude um, on one of them episodes that we watch. All right. How old are you? I'm forty. Forty I'll and be forty-one in September. Okay, it's coming up. Yeah. <laughs> and Brian, what do you do? I'm an aircraft mechanic Very for cool. a major airline. All right. So now... I fix planes. Mm -hmm. I want you to get home safe. <laughs> we appreciate you. <laughs> and now, uh, what are some things that you uh, like to do for fun? Things I like to do for fun? Um, I like trail riding. Mm. I live in Houston. Okay. I'm from New Orleans, but I like to ride horses. I'm a country. Shout out to him being from Houston, Texas. Hey, Ms. Jassy, that's your, that's your city that he's from. Country. Country guy. Okay. okay. I'm still city. But, you know, I like to do country things. Uh, I like to read. Um, I'm from the ghetto, but I am a nerd. Okay, I like to read. I want to know about things that I don't know. Okay, um, I like to go lounges, right? I like to go to museums. You know, I just like to really um, have a good time. Okay, mm -hmm. nice. Now, what are some... Well, wait a minute, hold, hold on. Why she popped the balloon? Because he said he liked to ride horses or going to the museum and stuff. Like, what the hell? That's bullshit. <laughs> All right. Things that you're looking for in a woman. Transparency. Mm. For sure. Transparency. Okay. If I can't see who you are when I meet you, then I would never know. Mm. Right? Uh, loyalty. That, that, that really, um, for men, that's a big thing. Loyalty. Mm -hmm. uh, I need to know when you out partying and having a good time that you loyalty and you faithful mm. to a man like me okay now what are some of your deal breakers deal breakers um i really don't have deal breakers right because i'm from the ghetto so i understand that you know we do a lot of things in our past and in our youth that uh is really a problem mm -hmm. so i don't really have any deal breakers but as far as deal breakers i don't really have any okay so hold, hold up they popped the balloon because this man said that he don't have deal Breakers. God damn. <laughs> oh Lord. Hey, Miss Jazz, she said, man, Urban look. I don't know if I want to claim him. Yeah, he said he's from Louisiana on them boys. Like, God dang. God damn. <laughs> but now what 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 do y'all think about him saying he don't have no deal breakers though? I I, I want to hear him out on this one because uh, everybody has some type of deal breakers, but I want to see what the reason why he say that. All right, I, I think they should at least hear him out before popping the balloon. But let's see. All right, so we did get a few pop balloons. Okay, let's go on over to those ladies, see why they ended up popping. No problem. All right, let's start right on over here. If we can have your name and age. Hi, I'm Mrs. Parker, but I go by Mrs. Okay. I'm 39, mm -hmm. and... You said you're 39? 39. All right. And Mrs. Parker, what do you do? I'm a professional makeup artist. A makeup artist? Yeah, shout out to Makeup by Mrs. Parker. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and Mrs. Why did you end up popping your balloon? Hi, Mrs. Parker. <laughs> I popped your balloon because you said you don't have any deal breakers, and everybody has to have some type of deal breaker, so you have to have something that you don't like. But you look really nice. You look dapper. Nice to meet you. It's definitely nice to meet you. Uh, when it comes to deal breakers, I'm not a surface level dating type of guy, right? Mm -hmm. I don't really care about your past. I'm from the ghetto. I'm from New Orleans, right? So nothing that you've done in your past doesn't matter to me because that was before me. After me, that's when you upgrade yourself. So that's why I said I don't have any deal breakers because I don't want to say that, hey, you know, you know you're, you're not my type because of what you've done in your past not knowing that that wasn't right or wrong. Okay, so that's why. Respect. Mm -hmm. And now, um, is Mrs. 
So, so what y'all think about his explanation about deal breakers? So pretty much what he's saying is this. He's saying that he is the type of person that he wiped the slate clean. He don't care what you did in your past. All he is, all he's doing is focus on the now. So whatever happens in the now with you being with him, that's what he's, you know, grading you on. All right. So do, do y'all think that's realistic or unrealistic? To someone that is your type? She de definitely. She got this cowgirl going on. I'm from the <laughs> South. Right. You know, so I like your outfit. I like what you got going on. Definitely. Thank you. All right. Let's go to our next lady over here. If we can have your name and age. Um, hi, I'm Tracy and I'm 37. I'm from New Orleans as well. And mm -hmm. I live in the DMV. Mm -hmm. Um, and the reason why I popped my balloon is because I am from New Orleans and just the energy I just wasn't vibing with. Like, I think you're super cool. I love the way that you look. But as far as like energy, I feel like I've dated guys from New Orleans before and it just did not work out for me. So I think because we come from the same place, it just clashes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So since we come from the same place, it clashes? Yeah. You know, I, I, I just haven't had really good relationship experiences mm, dating you, people from my hometown. You never met Brian. You never met Brian, Maybe. but today that you did, you know what I mean? And today, definitely, you was a winner, but. Hey, Miss Jazz, she said the same thing about the New Orleans men, so. <laughs> uh, you know, the fact that you're from New Orleans, I respect that because Thank I respect you. my home and I'm prideful on being a Louisiana animal, right? Mm -hmm. And I definitely was feeling you, but. Thank you. You know, like since you say, popped on handsome. me, we don't really deal with rejection too well. We respect that, mm -hmm. you know, but we move on. And then nice Tracy, to meet you. Tracy, we actually didn't get, what do you do? Um, so I work in management. Okay. So the person that I kind of link with, we can kind of go into further of my, my career, yeah. What industry? What management? What industry? Um, I wouldn't like to say. Mm. Yeah, I would like to discuss that with the person that I match with. I think that's a little more in-depth. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're looking good today. I love the orange. <laughs> Definitely. Let's go to our next lady. The reason why she don't want to discuss it is because she's a stripper, y'all. That girl is a straight up stripper. That's bullshit. She is. She really is a stripper. God damn. That's why she don't want to discuss it because other than that, she has said, I work at the bank. I'm a teleserver or whatever the heck it is. You know what I'm saying? Um, but that's the reason why she's saying that, because she's, she's a stripper. That girl's a stripper like I ain't nothing. She's herself her stripping that club GGs. Here, we can have your name and age. Um, my name is Chanel Kitt, and I am originally from Gary, Indiana. I live here in Phoenix, Arizona, um, Coco Stiletto and Instagram. I have my own business. I'm a consultant, business consultant, and I also create trivia games that I sell on Amazon. Okay, and I'm sorry, we didn't get your age. I am 42. Um, and the reason why I popped my balloon is, is pretty much, and you have already answered, um, you didn't have any deal breakers. Um, I need someone that knows what he wants. Um, I can be a handful sometimes as well, so, and, and it can be anything. So it's got to be something that makes you tick, that you can be honest about. So that's why I popped my balloon. And you kind of remind me of my nephew, just kind of. It's just sweet. Not the nephew. Remind you of my nephew. Not okay. Nephew. Um, so you said the deal breakers would be because I don't have a deal breaker? Correct. Okay, well, I could have a clean... I need, I need a man to tell me something. Tell me what he want and don't want. And, it. and you that will... tell me that, and, and I that, might jump all over you. And <laughs> so here, here's the problem that I'm having with this, okay? Why are they telling him or trying to dictate to him how the way he should feel? Once again, why are they dictating to him how the way he should feel? If he feel like that... He don't have no type of deal breaker. Why is that even a problem? Okay. Why is that a problem? Maybe he's one of them type of men that, hey, just like I stated earlier, he don't, you know, he he wiped the slate clean. He don't, you know, he, he wanted to see you for you. Okay. So what is wrong with that? Why do they feel like that? He have to think like them. He have to um, interpret things the same way how they interpret it. That's what I don't understand. And that will come, definitely. I will definitely tell you where you're going wrong at. Mm -hmm. But as far as a deal breaker, um, I have a clean slate with everybody. I'm the type to trust you before I not trust you. I'm going to give you that grace before I don't give you that grace. Here's something I want to add on to that too. 
everybody say the same as that thing, right? Well, whenever you and going into a relationship, y'all say this. Y'all say that I am not your what ex. I'm not your ex. So would it, would it be beneficial for you to think about it? How the way he's thinking about it, where you start off with a clean slate, would it be more beneficial than to just say that, hey, I don't want to deal with you because you don't have a deal breaker because I got a deal breaker. Kind of weird. Right. But I respect how you feel. I like that response. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, yeah, you, you right, Sal Pastor. They, they want to take chores type guy. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I got it. <laughs> you might circle back, but. Oh. You might go get back? Might. You want your balloon back? Do, do you Not want yet. that balloon back? I'm Not yet. Okay. <laughs> you, you got the gift of gab, I see. So we're just going <laughs> to. I got the gift of gab. Let's go on it's transparency, like love. <laughs> okay, if we can start off with your name and age. Hi, I'm Janae. I'm 34. Hello, and Janae. Janae, what do you do? Janae is tall as hell, y'all. God damn. Dang, she's at least about six feet. I'm in school for fashion design. I'm an office assistant. And I'm a new entrepreneur, just about to launch my fitness clothing line called We Fit. <laughs> okay, and why did you end up popping your balloon for Brian? Hey, Brian, I love the way you speak, but for me, it was the pants. I don't like the pants too tight. I'm kind of ghetto <laughs> too, so I like them a little loose, and um, that was just it for me. Okay. How old are you? 34. 34? Mm -hmm. How many kids do you got? I got three. You got three? Yep. How many baby daddies? I have three. You got three baby daddies, okay. I should have said zero, because mm. it's just me. You gonna lie to the public? No, I have three, but it's just me. I'm a single parent. Okay. There's no man in my life. Okay. Wait a minute, she said that she's a single parent. God damn! <sighs> should I tell her, or should, should y'all tell her? I'm gonna tell her, I'm gonna tell her. She is not a single parent, okay? A single parent means that it is two parents that say in the trigger life. It is a mother and a father. That's the definition of a parent. She is simply a single mom. You let him hit it raw. You didn't have second thoughts. Now you're a single mom. Now you're a single mom. That's pretty much what she is. She's a single mom. Not a single parent. Man in your life? Nope. Why is the reason boys. for there no man in your life? Uh, well, my first child, his father passed away, and the other two are nowhere to be found. So, what can you do? They do you like that? What's wrong with them? <laughs> something. Mm. <laughs> Only God knows. Or is there something wrong with you? Possibly. Uh oh, not something wrong with you. God damn. But I think I'm just fine. I think you're just fine as well. Thank you. Right. But to say that a 41-year-old man is disqualified because of his pants. You're 41? I'll be 41 in September. Okay, because I was like, I thought you said 40. I'll be 41 in September. That's coming up. It's, I like it. It's okay for you. It's not my style. Mm. You know, with everything going on, I like the pants to be a little baggy. That's all. Where you from, love? Kansas City. Kansas City? Yeah. Okay. How long you been out here? Two years. Two years? Yeah. Okay. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Let's go on over here. If we can have your name and age. I am Venusian, 39. And uh, you said Venusian? Mm -hmm. And what do you do? I'm a TikTok creator manager. Cool. And uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I'm a free-spirited woman, so having to check in with somebody like they are my parent is something that I don't subscribe to, so that's why I popped my balloon. What do you mean check in like they're your parent? The way that you were discussing how somebody needs to constantly, um, when we're out and about, to text or call and check in, that's something that I don't subscribe to, so that's why I pop my balloon. Okay, what do you do? I'm a TikTok creator manager. TikTok creator manager? For what company? Or is it for yourself? <laughs> it's for TikTok. For TikTok? Social media. Okay, social media? Social media agent, yes. Okay, how many kids you have? I have two. How many baby daddies? Two. Two? Okay. So you didn't think after the first one that you wanted to marry the next one? No. No? <laughs> okay. Okay. I was just asking because for real men, that's what matters. Mm -hmm. Your first one is given. 
Your second one, the mistake is on you. Oh, is it? Well, there's that's definitely right. under why I got that's pregnant. That's definitely but right. That's nor here or there, and that's You're not bef- what I'm here for. Okay, definitely. You're a beautiful woman, though. Thank you. But I respect your answer. Thank you. Let's go back. Oh, goodness. Lord, Lord, Lord. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so the checking in part. I agree with him on this checking in part. The reason why I agree with him on this checking in part is for the simple fact that checking checking in does not mean that a person is controlling you unless you're dealing with a narcissistic person. Checking in is simply respecting that person and letting that person know that you're okay. So it is nothing wrong with that. Hell, many of us right now, we we probably have children, right? At least I'm hoping that you probably have children. But those of y'all who have children, right? Would you rather for your children to check in with you to make sure that they're okay? Would you rather for the, your significant other or your husband or your wife or your boyfriend or girlfriend to check in with them just so they are okay? I would. Matter of fact, that's exactly what me and Mrs. Zerby do. We do it all, all the time, but it is not a dictatorship. It is not no controlling thing where we're, <clears throat> we're forcing each other to check in. We do it because we care about each other. We want to know that you are safe. So there's nothing wrong with that. But in their mind, I could tell right off the bat that she have a modern day woman mentality, this modern day woman feminism type mind, because the moment when you hear checking in, that means submission. When you hear submission, that means a man trying to control the woman. But that is not true. Unless you pick them, unless you pick that dude who's a narcissist. So, that's in the herd right there. Back here. Okay, if we can start off with your name and age. I'm Shay, and I'm 37. How you doing, Shay? Do- Nico, what's up with us? Salute. Doing amazing. <clears throat> Shay, uh, what do you do? Um, so, I work for the county, and I have my own hair business and a few other little small businesses. Okay, all right. And now, why did you end up popping your balloon? So, originally, I was feeling it. I, I, I like a, I don't want to say a bad boy, but I like somebody that's outspoken, but... Mm-hmm. The question of, I feel like you're challenging the women, oh, how many baby daddies you got? And then, you know, it, it just, that's, it, does that matter? You say future, so that's they past, it's not they future. How many uh, kids do you have? I have one daughter, she's 19. Do you want more? I do. My balloon still popped because I don't want it. <laughs> and, and she didn't have no comeback whatsoever. God, she didn't have no comeback. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't have no comeback. She like, oh, oh 19. <laughs> oh, dang. She was hoping that he he had like about three or four kids and five baby mamas. That's what she was hoping, but he he shut that down real quick. Anymore? Okay. You don't want any more? Not at all. I have you a, can't I have, have any more? You, you, no, you choose choosing, not, to, choose have not to have any more. I have an okay. uh, almost 14-year-old. And- okay. Yeah. Well, the reason for me asking their past about the baby daddies because it lets me know where they're going in their future. If you didn't have, if you didn't want to have a baby daddy for the second time, then that lets me know that you was uncareful of what you're dealing with. Do you necessarily okay. believe that somebody's past is they past that don't determine their future? Not, because not- I mean, I can look at you and say, say like you, you, you made people make mistakes. And it could happen. I, I feel like once or twice. Okay, some things become a choice, but no, no, no. Doesn't determine when it comes to w- once is a mistake. Twice, that's on you. Okay, so then say like you get into a relationship with somebody, you get married, and things don't work. So then I guess you made a mistake, or and then so you once is a mistake, and then twice is. I don't believe in that because I believe things happen. Sweetheart, twice is on you. Okay, you well, should have learned from that very no, first mistake. And, and, Okay, and not learned. saying that your child is a mistake, right? Mm-hmm. Of course But the not. fact that you chose the wrong man to have kids with, and secondly, not to have a marriage after the next one or before marriage the next one. Marriage doesn't determine, and I'm, I'm a person that wants to be married, but marriage don't determine anything. I've known people to be married for a long time, and it don't work out, baby. So, okay. yeah, you are, no, honey, buddy, okay. you, you're too aggressive now. No problem. Oh, well, you know, uh, the aggressiveness, that comes from a Southern man, uh, right? Baby, let me explain And we stand on what we're talking about. come from Texas, so... Mm. Okay, I'm from no. New Orleans. Okay, so you, you know what I mean. South, so when you, right, like Ryan, Ryan, let's move okay. on. Let's move on. Let's no move problem. On. <laughs> Have a good day, love. Oh Lord Jesus, why why is this concept so hard for them to um, get? Why why is it so hard? It's not. It's, 
It's not that complicated. Now, part of it, I can understand that um, people people make mistakes. All of us, including myself, we make mistakes, okay? But the whole point about mistakes is that you should learn from it. And that's the point that Brian is trying to tell them is that, hey, if if you say that this situation was a mistake, then what you obviously obviously should be doing is learning from that mistake, okay? Now, I understand that there, that's an exception to the rule. Like, say, for example, you're in a marriage and you didn't marry, you was in a marriage for 10 years. And so within that, that 10 years, right, y'all done had like three kids, you know what I'm saying? And they all by the same father. Then all of a sudden, the father ended up either one passing away or, or he ended up on um, cheating and y'all end up on um, ending the marriage. I can understand that. There's nothing wrong with that. But to end up going into a whole brand new relationship with already three kids in mind, right? And do the same entire mistake all over again? No, that is a simple choice that you made and you have to take accountability for that. That's all that he's saying. He ain't saying that it's wrong. He's just saying that, hey, you got to take accountability for that because if you're not going to take accountability for that, then you're going to keep doing it over and over again, thinking that it's a mistake. <laughs> if we can have your name and age. Hi, my name is Shay, and I'm 37. <laughs> and Shay, what do you Hello, do? Hello, Shay. I am an insurance adjuster, and I'm just waiting to take my real estate license. Very nice. And why did you end up popping your balloon? Just based off of the energy. I didn't want to pop it too soon. I like to fill you out first, but just based off of the energy and the conversations that were had between the women, just overall, that's it. Okay. So you a follower? No. I just, I went out, that's why I said I didn't pop it right away. I wanted to see for myself. Okay, so you didn't like just, my responses and the women that, that I responded to? You didn't like the responses? Just the energy from it, mm. yeah. The, the energy is too strong for you, huh? Not necessarily too strong. I just, just didn't too much care for it. That's understandable. I respect that, though. Thank you. Okay. Let's go on over here. If we can have your name and age. Davinia, and I'm 41. And Davinia, what do you do? I'm a compliance analyst for a payment processing company. Okay. And why did you end up popping your balloon? She said that she's a compliance analyst for for one company, right? Let me translate this. Because I, I don't know why they always come up here and try to use all these big prof professional words as though as this something. This girl works in claims department, okay? That's pretty much what she is. She's a claims representative. Like, man, just say that. God damn. <laughs> just say that. Lord Jesus. Um, I popped my balloon. I was waiting because I was trying to feel the energy, the vibe, the connection, chemistry. And I believe he was speaking very well, very suave, handsome gentleman. So I was trying to give it some time. But then it started to feel like an attack. And I don't I didn't like or agree with the attack. So that was why I popped my balloon. Okay. So you say it felt like an attack. Can you elaborate on that? Um, you don't judge people from their past or you like to start off with a clean slate. Mm. Um, I don't think that if a relationship works out for a woman and it happens to be her second kids, her second baby daddy, per se, um, I don't think that's her fault. So if she decides to stay and marry the man, like Brian says, then that means she's settling. And I don't agree with a woman having to settle just because the opinions of others thinking that, you know, it's going to be her fault. It's her fault because it didn't work out. No. Okay. Because people, they start off with different personas and then you slowly kind of learn who they really are. So if you decide to walk away because that situation isn't healthy for you, that doesn't mean that it's your fault that it didn't work out. Okay. Okay. So there's four billion women on the planet. Mm -hmm. I'm a black American from Louisiana. Mm -hmm. I have the choice to, to, to have the pick of the litter. Mm -hmm. So why would I pick you if you have multiple baby daddies? Well, don't pick me. Mm. Right. Yeah. And you I understand have the choice. that. You have the choice. We all I have, have the, a choice. I have the choice, but yeah. you're judging me on the fact that I have the choice. No, I'm not judging you. That just means that I'm not for you. If you're going to judge me because my second baby daddy didn't work out for me, then I'm not for you. You know, so I'm not judging and you I understand and your opinion that. How many kids and your you preference. Have? I have three. You have 25, three? 18, and 12. Okay. How many baby daddies? Two. Two. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's no, there's no disrespect towards that, right? Mm -hmm. But I just want you to understand, when it comes to a man of top tier, right, we give you a few from one man. Mm -hmm. That's it. 
if you have multiple from a different man, mm -hmm. that, that, that disqualifies yourself. So it disqualifies a top tier woman from getting a top That's tier That's exactly man right. Why? Because there's has. billions of women on this planet. Okay. All right. All right? I respect your opinion. Okay. Okay, well, Brian, that is all the balloons popped. No problem. But we do thank you for coming on. Let's go ahead and give it up for him, ladies. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. So old, old girl in this one's dress, she didn't clap for that dude at all. She like, man, shoot. Everything you say is some bull crap. That's bullshit. <laughs> now, on, on that very last part that Brian was talking about, I have to disagree with him on that. The, the reason why I'm disagreeing with him on that is because that is that red pill rudder that I do not like at all. That's bullshit. That's that on um, red pill Reddit that they got from on um, Kevin Samuels. Now it was, it's a lot of things that Kevin Samuels has said that I agree with, and there are things that I don't agree with. One of which is what you're talking about right now, what Brian was saying to to these women. Now, keep in mind, keep in mind as well that uh, I agree that you know you really should judge a person on their their past. You know, what I'm saying you really should do that. Uh, I, I agree that, you know, it should be a clean slate and everything. But the thing about it is that when he started, when Brian started off originally, that's what he was telling them about the deal breaker part. He was simply telling them that, hey, I'm starting off with a clean slate. I don't care about your, your own past or nothing like that. I, I don't. I don't care about your past. I'm just focused on the present moment. And they didn't get that. So when he started challenging them on their deal breakers and start challenging them um, um, everything else about them having babies and different things like that, then they start feeling some type of way. And, and at that point, it became a double standard for them. You know what I'm saying? So, it, you know, it is it is what it is. You know, then, then also Brian just gave them a little bit of one content there too. So, it is what it is. You too. I ain't lying. These these type of women that they chose for this episode, they they chose the average as best litter this time around. God damn. <laughs> I ain't lying. All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? My name's Josh. I'm 37. Okay, and Josh, what do you do? I invest in stocks and uh, I'm getting into content creation. Okay, so, nice. Yeah. <laughs> well, what are some things you like to do for fun? Uh, I play a lot of basketball, uh, poker, hmm. you know, things like that. That's, okay. that's mainly what I do nice. most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> and now what are some things you look for in a woman? Uh, I, don't, I don't too much care for some people that smoke, like okay. especially cigarettes and things like that. So somebody that likes to be in the gym, mm -hmm. you know, like an active woman, because I'm active myself. Um, Somebody that's loyal, mm -hmm. humble. Okay. Like those are the main things. Got it. Now, what are yeah. some of your deal breakers? Uh, well, the smoking for sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, that's the biggest thing. Um, a liar. Mm. I don't care for a liar, but those okay. are the main mm. two. All right. Got it. Mm. All right. So, Josh, we don't have any pop balloons, so you're doing pretty well. And so what that means is I'm actually going to go ahead and switch it on over to you. So there are quite a few ladies here. So for the first round, everyone always says, oh, my God, it's so tough. But, yeah, I'm going to. I noticed I noticed a difference, OK, from from all these other pop the balloon episode. And there was a it was a reason why I said that they chose the average of best women. OK, I noticed this. The women who are like average as best, they they are the ones who, you know, they'll sit there and they'll at least will hear you out, okay, before they'll pop the balloon. They'll try to f at least hear you out and they'll try to fill you out, okay? But the the women who think they just all that, they'll be popping the balloon as soon as that dude came out there because some women don't like dudes wearing khaki pants or khaki shorts. Uh, they'll say that this dude is underdressed for the show, and they'll just pop the balloon for that. So, I'm yeah, I'm just saying something Gonna different. Gonna have you pop this, you know? <laughs> three balloons, kind of just based off of what you're seeing. Who doesn't really fall into your type? Whatever it may be. So let me hand you this, okay. and go ahead and pop those three, and then I'll. I bet 
the first person he's going to pop is going to be the, the woman in the pink dress. Watch. Go ahead um, and ask you why we ended up popping them after. Okay. Okay, three. Yes, sir. Right. Three balloons. Let's see. Okay, I don't even know y'all. Okay, two more. Two? And one more. Okay. Oh, so so he like he like them big women, huh? Okay, there ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with that, but um, yeah, I, yeah, that that's why I was saying, Nika, I like he's for a person who said he like his woman to be fit. I'm shocked that he let the girl in the the pink dress survive. Let's start with the first one you ended up popping. I'm sorry, I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> All right, if we can start with your name and age. Hi, my name is Shay, and I'm 37. And Shay, uh, you did have your balloon unpopped for Josh. Why so? Because when he came out, I just I thought he was attractive, and I just wanted to hear more about him. Okay. All right. Feel his energy out. <laughs> <laughs> and Josh, why'd you end up popping Shay's balloon? Uh, just not my type. Uh, it's that simple. Okay. And what makes her not really your type? Mm. Just not normally the type I go for. Uh, maybe the dress, not really, you know, my thing, but okay. like she's. So, or, or let it don't be messy as hell, man, for real. Oh my God, bro. Oh, hell no, man. Yeah, or, or let that be messy as hell. They, they be wanting you to, they be wanting these people to spound on this. He like, if it's not this type, it's just not this type. You don't have to go into detail. You don't have to give you a whole essay about why, why she's not this type. She's a beautiful woman, just not, not my type. Okay, all right, let's go on to our next lady over here. If we can start with your name and age. Davinia, I'm 41. Okay, and Davinia, why did you have your balloon unpopped for Josh? Um, I think Josh is handsome, and I think he was well-spoken, so I just wanted to see if the vibe was there, chemistry, and obviously it wasn't, so. <laughs> <laughs> We're good. <laughs> and Josh, why did you end up popping your balloon? I mean, popping uh, her balloon, yeah. Um, just, uh, I don't like a lot of makeup, you know, mm -hmm. um, I just, that's all, that's all it is. Okay. So mm -hmm. that's all I have to go off of, you know. Got it. All uh, right. Thank you. <laughs> and over here, if we can start with your name and age. My name is Chanel Coco Stiletto. I'm 42. Okay. And Chanel, you had your balloon on pop for Josh. Why? Well, he came out very handsome, well-spoken. However, he did say his deal breaker was smoking. I am not a smoker when it comes to cigarette. But I am a medicinal, so I'm pretty sure that's... I was going to pop my balloon, but I figured you can do it for yourself. So that's what it was. Okay. <laughs> All right. And Josh, why did you end up popping her balloon? I actually don't mind weed. Like, that's oh. cool. It's just the cigarettes, like, yeah. that is what it is. But just, like, the makeup and, you know what I mean? Like, I like a more natural look. So that's okay. pretty much All right, cool. It. Thank you, ladies. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm the same exact way. I, I don't like for women to be all caked up and caked out for real to, to be honest um i say it all the time um ladies your your men we do not like that we just want to tolerate that okay if you if you're married right now and if you're in a relationship right now and you be caking yourself up you, uh you be putting them uh eyelashes on your eyes and different things like that your man is just tolerating that okay he do not like it period he do not like that. You be putting on all that clown stuff. That dude do not like that. He just tolerating it because he love you. Okay. So I'm just letting you know. Hey, so we do still have quite a few balloons left on popped. Go ahead and ask these ladies a question to help you narrow it down. Hey, um, do any of y'all have kids? Everyone. Uh, everyone. <laughs> okay. They all got okay, you. We got Michelle, okay. Um, I guess I'll just ask a different question. Yep. <laughs> okay, okay. I got kids too, so we good. How many kids do you have? I have two kids. Two kids, okay. How many kids y'all got? Okay. Let's, oh, oh, hold on, y'all. I'm going to come to y'all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's start here. Okay. If we can have your name and age and how many kids do you have? Hi, I'm Mrs. Parker, but I go by Mrs. I'm 39, and I have two kids. Um, a girl, 20, and my son is 15. Okay. Good. Okay. 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 Oh yeah, yeah, Constance. Let me let me uh let me clarify this too. Like, if it's if you put on like simple makeup, like do you you know you put on like some lipstick and um you know eyeliner with whatever stuff it is the 
simple. You know what I'm saying? That's that's cool. There's nothing wrong with that. But when you literally caked up like you worked from um, what's the name of that company? Mary Kay? Mary Kay? Or you look like you work at the one um Dillard's in the mall. You you know when you go into a mall at Dillard's or um, Macy's or whatever, right? And you, you go to the, the cosmetologist section and the worker there be caked up with all that makeup. Nah, that, that's some bullshit for real. Uh uh. That's bullshit. Mm mm. Name and age and how many kids you have. Hi, I'm Tracy. I'm 37 and I have one child. I have a daughter who's nine. And down over here. Your name and age and how many kids you have. I'm Shay, I'm 37. I have one son who will be 14 on the 8th of this month. Okay. Name and age and how many kids you have. Hey, Josh, I'm Janae. I have three kids. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what ages? 17, 12, and 7. Okay. 17, 12, and 7. All right. Name and age and how many kids you have. Venusian, 39. I have a son, he's 20, and a daughter that's 7. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's back it on up. <laughs> I don't think we got the age of your kids. I know you said you have two. Yeah, I have a 13-year-old and an 8-year-old. Okay, 13 and 8. Okay. Yeah. Any other questions for these ladies? Kind of help you narrow it down. I don't know. I, don't, I guess the kids aren't a deal breaker, obviously, for you. No, I mean, okay. <laughs> actually, I prefer kids because at least you know what it is. But, got it. Okay. Yeah. Um, what is your toxic trait? Mm, okay. What is your toxic trait? I think I can read energy and sometimes I might overthink things a little too much like I might read into the energy a little too much which can create just create like overthinking so so you jump to conclusions I wouldn't necessarily say I jump to conclusions but like I just probably think sometimes a little too much mm -hmm. Potentially jumps to conclusions, but mm -hmm. not quite. Okay. No, <laughs> when you overthink things, like we're all human, you know. So like, mm -hmm. it's like a we all overthink sometimes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. All right. <laughs> What's your toxic trait? I believe my toxic trait is seeing red flags and still trying to work through the potential of a person. So, I think that hasn't worked well for me. Um, always trying to see the good um, instead of just letting certain situations go. Okay. It's good that she's taking accountability on that because a lot of women are like that. They love these, uh, I call them build a bear relationships where they know these dudes is toxic as, as hell, but however, they, they believe that they could fix that dude or they could mold the dude to the way that they want them to be. But normally, in, the, in many cases, it do not work out at all. Okay, let's go down here. All right, what's your toxic trait? I'm always trying to help people and i tend to hinder people sometimes like it's kind of unhealthy sometimes because i'm always like trying to i help overly help okay okay <laughs> what's your toxic trait um <coughs> if i'm not being heard i get a little frustrated can probably get loud so mm. that's my toxic trait do you get violent no okay. but i am <laughs> i'm just <laughs> aggressive a little bit okay yeah, by nature, but Ver not on verbally. purpose. <laughs> verbally, okay. <laughs> That's the same thing. <laughs> yeah, I get a little loud. No, Nico, uh -uh, I do not like that dress at all. Shut your damn mouth. Nor I don't like the one in the pink at all, period. Shut your damn mouth. A matter, a matter of fact, the one in the pink dress is absolutely positively not my type. Mm -mm, not at all. A matter of fact, if I was on, on that show, the one in the pink dress would have been the first balloon. I'll, I'll pop right off the bat. As soon as I walk out there, before we even store, I'm like, hold up. Pop. <laughs> I kid you not. Kid you not. When I'm frustrated and not being hurt. Okay. Yeah. The, the one in the orange will be the second person I'll, I'll pop the balloon to because she is not my type. She she look like she she one of them type of one chicks that she just sit up her and argue with you for no apparent reason, bro. You you just come in from a long day of work and she'll just argue with you about not taking out the trash. You know what I'm saying? 
She 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 one of them one type of chicks, man. She'll say sip her argue with you because the Chick Fil A line is too long and she hungry. What? Kid you not. She one of them type of chicks that if you're not pull pulling up to the um to the one uh, seafood place, right? And they ain't no run out of crab legs. She not only she be arguing at the waiter, she be arguing at you because she mad at the waiter for real. What? So hey, now I wouldn't choose her neither. All right? What's your toxic trait? Uh, detaching, completely withdrawing. Mm. Yeah. Like yeah. all the time, or just something? No, just like if we are having a disagreement, and again, like I'm not being heard, I withdraw. So I'll mm. need some time. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Josh, I am gonna have you pop two balloons, based off. Maybe this round you're gonna pop the, the one in the pink dress balloon. Off of you know the things you've heard, what you've seen, all that good stuff. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go right here. Okay, and then one more. Got up. I told you he was gonna pop her balloon. <laughs> I bet he gonna pop the one in the orange dress balloon too with her aggressive self. And right here. Okay. Good job, sir. You did a great job. I coached this dude well. Let's continue. So why did we end up popping her balloon? Cause she she too nice, like a people pleaser. <laughs> I don't. Cause I've I've dealt with that before, you know what I mean? Like I can't like a people pleaser, I can't do it. Mm. I wouldn't like, necessarily call it a people pleaser, but if you knew my background, I like I do a lot of um giving back and things of that nature. So I have a heart. So I'm not gonna say a people pleaser because I do have a flip side of me. Okay. Like to a certain extent, but no, respect. Okay. So but you put people before yourself. No, 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 no. To to a default, right? No, no, no. I don't put people before myself. I extend a lot of help like I'm always there to try to help someone and sometimes that can be unhealthy like let them figure it out stop trying to help them mm -hmm. now I'm not going to put anybody before myself because I'm a mother so I have to have my sanity and things of that nature to be a parent but mm -hmm. yeah I just everybody knows I'm always helping so <laughs> see but the thing about that is you're going to stress yourself out and then you're going to come home and I got to deal with that mm. because you're trying to do too much for everybody else you know Hey, and he's not lying about that at all. He's not. That that is a that is a good good evaluation that he did. For the simple fact that, ladies, y'all tend to make your man be everything, including your therapist. We're not your therapist, even though we don't mind listening to you, right? We don't always have the, the answers, especially a. Especially, especially when you're dealing with weird stuff that's happening with work or whatever. We're not out here like, mm, okay. But we can't fix you. <laughs> we don't want to hear it. We don't want to deal with it. You know I, I don't bring so. problems home, but still okay. respect. Okay. Okay. Still respect. respect, still respect. Respect, respect. Okay. Yeah, I'm not bringing it home. We, we leaving it at the front door. Okay. <laughs> respect. All right, let's go over here. Why do you end up popping this balloon? Because she loud. Oh. I just, I don't like that. <laughs> I'm, I'm very chill. <laughs> he, he said because she is loud. God dang. <laughs> but hey, I don't blame her. I don't blame her at all. I, I told you, she one of the type of persons that she'll just help her argue with people, people for no apparent reason. I, I ain't lying. She'll argue with you because her nuggets is cold and all kind of stuff. She'll help her argue with you because uh, y'all y'all be on cuddled up in the bed one day and you just pull the covers off of her just a tad bit and she'll argue about that. She'll help her argue because you left the, the toilet seat up. Uh, she'll argue with you because you left the toilet seat down. She'll argue with you because uh, you, um instead of taking the toothpaste right and you pull the toothpaste out from the back end, you did it from the middle on up. She'll argue with you on that. She doesn't look like she does an argumentative person all the way around. Then she look like she, she that type of person that she'll sit her and compare you to her baby daddy. Says what to minus the one who passed away. Minus the one who passed away. But the other ones that's missing in action, she'll sit up her and compare you to them. To my, you ain't no better than them. So he did himself a, a service by popping her balloon for real.
So you know, if you're too loud, like, nah, I'm good on that. Okay, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> oh, thank you. Let's go back over here. Respect. We did get a pop. Where was the pop? Back here, back here, back here. Okay, why did we end up popping our balloon? I pop because I could get loud sometimes. Like, I'm chill, but I like to be loud sometimes. So I don't want somebody like, oh, you're too loud. You can be loud with me. But are you just... Nah, 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 uh-uh, nah, bro, uh-uh. He did himself a service by getting rid, getting rid of her as well, too. I'm, ladies, I'm, I'm going to put y'all on, on game on this, okay? We prefer ride or die chicks, right? But we don't like the loud, obnoxious, argumentative type of women, all right? Okay? Now, we can understand that in like certain situations where, you know, you can elevate yourself... Depending on what the type of situation is, it's dead. there's nothing wrong with that. But if you just laugh for no apparent reason, you loud or obnoxious and all this stuff there, you working your neck and doing all this weird stuff and snapping that now, nah, we, we don't like that at all, period. That is so nasty. Disrespectful. No. I don't care if you loud, like, because you're having fun, but I mean, like, when you disrespectful. Oh, okay. That's what I'm talking about. Well, thank mm -hmm. you for clarifying. Like, yeah. So do you, after you clarify that, do you want the bloom back or is it? I'm going to leave it pop. Oh. You're very handsome, though. Thank you. Okay. You're, You're very pretty. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we do have two balloons left unpopped. Ladies, any questions for Josh? You want to start down there? Okay. Let's, let's go down there. She has a question. <laughs> All right. What's your question? How do you um, resolve conflict? What's your conflict resolution style? Um, I think communication is very important. So I think it's important to like take a step back and see where you're wrong and just kind of see how you can find some middle ground and talk, talk through things because 99% of the time it's just misunderstanding. You know, if you talk, get through it. Mm -hmm. So that's... And do you know your love languages? Uh, before she get to the love language part, I want to add this in too. When dealing with conflict resolution, right, it is okay to just not agree. It's okay. It's practically fine. As a matter of fact, that is a normal human response to totally not agree. And it's a normal human response for you to not only not, only not agree, but to leave it at that. Okay. See what well, what I didn't, I didn't learn through through my my professional experience and also me being married is that uh, when you try to force each other to agree or as you say try to come into that little middle ground normally that don't work because you you just compromising just to be doing it but you're not doing it wholeheartedly okay so it's better for you to just. Understand where, where both people is at, both parties is at, and just leave it at that. Now, if it's something that's real severe that y'all disagree with, then maybe you need to take it up to a next level where you needed to get a third party where you may need to get a marriage and family therapist or, or someone that be that third party where they can hear both of y'all perspectives out and they can give you a, a different type of perspective about whatever it is that y'all have a conflict with. And if y'all are able to get an understanding on that and, you know, let it go, then it's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. If not, then, hey, break up. <laughs> um... I like kisses on the neck and compliments. <laughs> physical touch. Physical touch and words of affirmation. <laughs> right. Well, fit, like, fit, I'm not going to say physical touch because, like, I like my space, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't like to be crowded or, you know what I mean? Like, even, like, in bed and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Like, you got your side, I got my side. Like, don't come near me. Oh. Right. <laughs> not, and it's, it's not like <laughs> I know how that sounds, but I just like my space. So I just put it that way. Okay. So kiss me on my neck all you want. You know, um, yeah, and just compliment me and we good. Okay. So, and what's your sun sign? My what? Your sun sign. My sun, I don't know. Like my, like. Uh, your zodiac. Okay, zodiac. I'm a Capricorn. Okay. Those are all good questions. Okay. All right, let's head on back this way. Got any questions for Josh? Um, so I have a few actually. Um, 
Oh, real, real quick, that Zodiac sign is some bullshit for real. I don't even know why people believe in that dumb crap. That's bullshit. I'm done to say So who currently is delusional about you? <laughs> so are you single? Do you believe you're single? Or is there anyone out there that believes they're in a relationship with you? I'm, um, I'm single. I am single. Uh, I, I do have a rotation, but it's... <laughs> <laughs> thank you but thank you for I your just honesty i gotta be honest because it's gonna come out eventually so you mm -hmm. know what i mean like i appreciate it but you mm -hmm. josh what do you mean you by you have a rotation mind, i talked to several females you know that's it, a ph just, balance issue no sir i'm not doing nothing with it with everybody if, if that's what you're trying to get at but mm -mm. we talk on the phone you know mm -mm. <laughs> I need my man to be my man, my man, my man, and crazy about me and only me. So when you talk to me, you drop everybody else. So wait a minute, what the hell? That's bullshit. Y'all, y'all help me to understand this, okay? So, she popped the balloon because she asked, did, did he have other people that he talked to? This dude is a single man. Of course he's going to have other people to talk to. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that she have her baby daddy in rotation, as will speak for real. I'm pretty sure of it. Because notice this. The reason the reason why I say this is because notice when all the other women was, you know, talking about their, you know, their children, right? They really never mentioned about their baby that I suffered the one that I said that's argumentative for stuff, right? All the rest of it, they never mentioned about they, you know, their baby dads, nothing like that. The reason why they never mention about their baby daddies or the children father is because they got them dudes in rotation. They do. They're single and they got them dudes in rotation. So they hit that dude up whenever they need a good old fixer. They do. Kid you not. So why is it wrong for him to have a rotation, but it is okay for them to have a rotation? Matter of fact, what old dude should have said, said is like, hey, okay, let me uh, pull out your phone. Let me see who all these people you got on, on your phone. I, I guarantee that she'll at least have like about five dudes in rotation right now. Matter of fact, all of them probably have at least five dudes that they're talking to on Christian Mingo, Tinder, and all this stuff right now as we speak. Kid you not. Tell you. What? But it's wrong for him to have that. Crazy. Mm. So make me crazy about you. Maybe I'll drop the rotation. It's probably some sweet girl out there that's crazy about you that's already in rotation. <laughs> she probably love you. Nah. <laughs> nah. We, we... And you you heard the insanity behind this too? Talking about, oh, it's another girl out there. Then, then I'll she, she's talking about, I want you to be my man and my man only. First of all, lady, y'all not even dating yet. So how in the hell he's going to be your man? And y'all not even a couple yet. That gives me narcissistic vibes for real. I'm, I'm the saying. That's... Weird as hell. God, so I I think she did him a favor on, on this one. And I, I won't let it get to that point unless like it's you know what I mean. It's got to be. Nah. Uh, okay. <laughs> she popped down here too after you said something about you got rotation. All right. Y'all like like don't got rotations. I know y'all got rotations. What you mean? Yeah, th that's what I'm saying. He he, like I know y'all got rotations. I don't know why y'all sitting pretty stunning when y'all know you do. I'll be the worst. So it was the rotation. It was that and the makeup comments. Like I like a nice clean beat. I I live for it. So I'm not gonna stop wearing makeup because you don't like it. I didn't say it was a deal breaker. I just said I don't like too much makeup. But... Well, I like makeup. <laughs> okay, what you? So she's talking about well, I. Bro, they doing you a favor, bro. You at this point, you don't even have to argue with none of them. You don't have to. Oh my God, bro! Oh, hell, hell no, man. You don't, you don't even have to argue with them no more. It, it, it's done. You're you're done with them. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to explain yourself. 
If she want to be caked up and caked out, looking like the Incredible Hulk and all this stuff there, looking like the Joker and all this stuff there, let her. Let her. She does not for you. You got on this cool, like... I ain't worried about it. I appreciate it. that, but you said you don't like it, and I wear it like <laughs> a lot. <laughs> you, you overthinking that one, but I. Okay. <laughs> oh man, Josh, <laughs> I thought we had somebody for you. <laughs> okay, well, unfortunately, that is all the balloons popped. Let's go ahead and give it up for him, ladies. Okay. Thank you for coming on, Josh. <laughs> hey, uh, Constance said, "Everybody, the one in the ones want her man all to herself." But the one thing about it is that she don't got no man. That's the whole point about it. God, hey. She don't got no man. So how is she gonna separate demand this to a dude that she don't even know? Like what? What the heck? That's crazy. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? My name is Tim. Tim, how old? God dang, they didn't even get him time to get out. God dang. Like, Lord Jesus. How old are you? 37. And what do you do? Uh, I do side work right now, and I'm a professional day trader. Okay, all right. Now, what are some things you like to do for fun? Uh, pretty much read. Um, I like to read charts, um, take walks. I meditate. Um, I do like yoga. Okay. A um, little different things, so. Got it. And uh, what are some things you look for in a woman? Uh, someone that can actually just, you know, make my life easy. I mean, I'm getting older, and um, there's a lot going on, so I'm here to just uh, build a partner and just just grow together, you know. Okay. Got it. Now, what are some deal breakers? Um, someone that's, I would say, a woman that's, like, like isolated. Okay. More like um, not really in tune with their family or anything like things like that, um, and I would say honestly, I would say probably drinking and smoking. Okay. Yeah. Got it. All right. So we did get um, some balloons popped here. Let's go over to some of these ladies and see what's going on. Okay. So if I don't pop that balloon, I wouldn't even go over there. I like you know what um you know what on that I'm I'm not. I'm not, I'm not fixing to go through this. I'm not fixing to go and ask each and every last one of what's the reason why they pop their balloons. It's just a waste of time. Here's your mic. Have a great day. <laughs> I will walk out right then and there. Okay, we can start with your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. And I bet each and every last one of them are going to pop this balloon off of something as shallow as hell. Watch. Hey, I'm Mrs. Parker. Uh, go by Mrs. I'm 39. I popped your balloon. You're, you seem like you're very sweet, but just physically not my type. Okay. And like, what makes him like physically not your type? It's most likely the the braids. I don't really like the braids. Okay. But you dress nice. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> and now is Mrs. Someone that's your type? No. Okay. And what makes her not your type? Um, I'm not really into like the tattoos. Um, I do like the outfit though. Thank you. For sure, and the hat too. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to our next lady right. here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping. Um, hi, my name is Tracy. I'm 37. And the reason why I ended up popping is just you're not my normal type. I know I'm, I'm trying to kind of get away from trying to, you know, pick my normal type because that wasn't working for me. But I just don't feel like it will be a strong, intimate um, right. connection between us. And I feel like we have to start building on emotional and physical intimacy um, from the jump. So I just didn't feel like that physical like ooh, you know mm -hmm. but i think you're presented yourself very nice like i love your outfit like i think you're a very very well-spoken person and i hope you find your match thanks and now is she someone that is your type no okay i'm good. i know you said you don't like tattoos <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. so I, maybe that's yeah. it but is there anything else um yeah just not i would say not sexually attracted um okay. and uh that's pretty much it yeah okay Thank you. Let's go on over here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping. My name's Chanel Coco Stiletto. Um, I'm 42. I pop my balloon. Um, it's the hair, probably. Okay. I really like your fit together. What kind of shoes are those, by uh, the way? Tommy Hilfiger. I like them. You look very nice. Thanks. It's just the braids is giving, you know, woman up, Chris. I'm about to. So that's not good. Okay. Now, is she someone that's your type? No. <laughs> <laughs> and why not? Um, 
she's I would say I'm 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 more attracted to younger women. Yeah. Um you're older. I can see probably like us doing business together or something like that, Absolutely. networking. Um yeah. and just just not attracted. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's going over here. Now now notice how he's carrying himself. He's not trying to roast them or nothing like that. He just keeping it real like I'm just not attracted to you. But this the the oldest woman on the panel had to be the the biggest asshole on the panel too. God damn. All that was uncalled for. Talking about woman though, Chris. Like whatever. Then then on top of it off, he he his hair is not braided, okay? He had twists. His hair is twisted. It's not braided up. All right. There's a difference between the two. Lord Jesus. It and here, here's another thing, too. They they sit up here is talking about how the way his hair is right. But notice this dude had not said not once about them being some bald headed women who don't have their natural hair neither. That's bullshit. He haven't said nothing about it. He haven't even been disrespectful. He just say, well, I don't like your, your weave neither. I don't like your wigs neither. He just keep it honest. Here, your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Davinia and I'm 41 and it seems like I did him a favor because he doesn't like tattoos, he doesn't <laughs> like older women, and he doesn't like women that drink or smoke. I don't smoke, but I drink sociably. So, um, and then um, I was trying to, you know, give it some time to see, to fill them out, but not my usual type. I'm usually for more of a broad, confident, strong, you know, um, but handsome guy, very well dressed and well spoken. Okay. All right, let's see if this one changes. Is she your type? No, I'm not. It's not. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no. and why not? I know. I know. I see the tattoo. That's one thing. I mean, yeah. it ain't really about. I think you say you smoke. Or something no, I don't smoke. Or drink. Whatever. I drink. You say drink. The only thing or with smoke. Uh, drinking is like it kind of interferes with our intimate, in in some senses. Because I mean, does it? Yeah, to me, it's 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 almost like we have to. Sometimes drink alcohol to be intimate, and that's not you know it no, should be that more intellectual. Mean you have to like I don't even keep a, a stock of liquor at home, so I'm a social drinker. When I drink, I'm usually drinking because I'm out or something like that. I don't have to drink, but oh, okay, I get it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I there would yeah there would be no connection because I'm not yeah. I'm not even a social drinker. Yeah, yeah I get so. it. Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Your name and age and why you. Let me um let me translate social drinker too, cause uh you know I'm I'm guilty of this too. Social drinker simply means is that you're doing it to try to fit in with the crowd, okay? You you got a crowd of friends, you got a crowd of loved ones, or whoever the case may be, and they're drinking, and so you don't want to feel left out. You don't want to feel the op feel like you're the eyeball of the group. So therefore, you decide to indulge into the same type of drinking activity as them. That's what a social drinker is. A social drinker to me is a is a person who cannot um, stand alone in a group. Okay. Now, the, like I say, I, at one point in time, consider myself as a social, social drinker, but I'm not a social drinker no more. I consider myself more as a casual drinker, okay? When you use the term casual drinker, that means that, you know, you drink occasionally depending on how the way you feel versus using the term social, meaning that you're doing it to, you know, fit into a social crowd, okay? So maybe, uh, maybe... Um, those of y'all who are out there right now, maybe um, y'all more of casual drinkers, okay? So just trying to throw that out there. If not, then you're a social drinker. Ended up popping your balloon. My name is Shay and I'm 37 and I just popped my balloon. I think you're very well dressed. I just popped my balloon just because I just wasn't physically attracted. Yeah. That's all. Okay. And is there anything specific that, you know, I would probably that? say the braids. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. all. All right. <laughs> and now is Shay someone that's your type? No. So <laughs> <laughs> tough guy. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. and what makes her not your type? Um Yeah, she looks a little bit older than like forty five. Um forty five I'm not forty five. Yeah, just look I mean, just look older. Um, not attracted. Um I don't know. I'm just lost right now. Okay. But yeah.
Okay. I like the, I do like the dress though, Thank for you. sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go to our next lady. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. I'm Shay and I'm 37. Obviously too old. I do have tattoos and you don't have a type because everybody's not your type so far. So to me, you don't have a type. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. You pop your, your balloon because you don't have a, t he don't have a type? What? You are only saying that because of what, what he said right now. You, you only pop your, you pop the balloon only because you just wasn't physically attracted to the dude. Let's keep it a bug. It didn't have nothing to do with because he didn't have a type. Because obviously dude have a type. For him, for him to say that you're not my type, that means that he got a certain type of type that he's looking for. That's what it means, right? So obviously none of these women would have fit the equation. So let's say hypothetically speaking that none of them didn't pop the balloon with their petty self over her. Okay, and that had kept the balloon. I'm pretty sure this dude probably went down the line, popped everybody balloon up there because these women are just not his type. Um, yeah, I do have a type. It's just um, I'm not attracted to like oh, let's say over women, older women. What's considered older? Um, uh, I would say probably my age or older. I'm more into like I can better do like 27, 28, 29, somewhere around there. Okay, yeah. respect. Okay, let's go on over here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hey, I'm Janae, I'm 34. I popped because you said you're looking for someone to make your life easier or better. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a mom and I'm looking for a man for that. Well, I'm not looking for a man, but I mean, I'm there to support you, but I don't see how a woman could make it your life easier. Wait, wait, wait a minute, hold up, hold up. She said that she's not looking for a man. If she's not looking for a man, then what? Why in the hell is she at this show? Oh my God, bro! Oh hell no, man! Why? Why is she even there to begin with in the first place? And and I also caught what she said too. She she said that she was. She also said that she was looking for a man to do that for her. So. It's okay for her to want that, but it's not okay for him to want that, to make a woman, to make a, the woman to make him, him feel better or whatever the case that may be. Interesting. What do you mean by that? Yeah, what I mean by that is like, it, like, because I work hard, you know, yeah. I would say something like this, like, my father would say, like, because of the, I don't want to get, I'm already getting beat, beaten up in the world yes. by what's going on. I don't want to get beat up at home too if I'm not having a good day and things like that. I know that's right. So I'm saying, make my life easy. How you doing? You know, how how was your day today? Just just home peace. Be your yeah. Peace. Mm -hmm. Okay. Exactly. Okay. So I like that answer. Mm -hmm. I like that answer. Um, and it was the braids too. The braids. You're handsome, but Thanks. just do something different. Mm. Okay. What would you recommend? I would go straight back. Okay. If I were you. I would definitely take that consideration. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So is Janae someone that's your type? Uh, I would say, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Besides the tattoo. Yeah, the tattoo. The tattoo. Yeah. Respect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bro, that's the worst thing that you could possibly do is to ask a woman how the way he, how the way you should present yourself. When you do that, that opened up the door for that woman to control you. Next thing you know, she's going to be, um, recommending how the way you should dress. She's going to be recommending how the way you should talk. She's going to be recommending how the way you should walk. And if you don't fulfill none of these requirements, right, then guess what? It's going to be a deal breaker. So now, never, 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 and I mean never, allow a person to tell you how the way you should look or carry yourself and this go for both men and women don't never do that don't never do that don't let nobody tell you that okay thank you. all right yep. thank you and if we can get your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon i'm venusian 39. um the vibe wasn't there and okay. i wasn't physically attracted and then some of the deal breakers i do socially drink and i also um, moved away from family so 
that isolation part is yeah. there too. So I'm not going to try to bring you into something that's not going to work for you. So there's that. Okay. All right. So is Venusia someone that's your type? No. Okay. And why not? Um, just not attracted. Um, in the the piercing on the yeah yeah the piercing yeah. I don't think a lot of women can pull that off. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's head on back. <laughs> well, that is all of the balloons popped, unfortunately, but we do think. Yeah, I'm, I'm not like women uh, who who have them pierces don't wear pierces need to be honest with you thank you for coming on let's go ahead and give it up for him ladies I'll take this. I think it is. thank you all right so so we're gonna watch one more uh contestant that we're gonna call it a night all right all right and we're, we'll resume this okay we'll resume this another time <laughs> okay let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. Let's get your name. Uh, my name is Reggie. Okay, Reggie, how old are you? 36. Okay, and what do you do? Um, I do financial literacy, uh, help people with their credit, uh, build passive income, start businesses, things like that. Very cool. What are some things I could do for fun? Um, so for me, it's not what you do, it's who you're with. <laughs> you do okay. the same thing you do with the right person, you can make it a good time. Um, but for me, um, because of that, I'm about experience, so I like traveling, I like um, kind of building with your partner. Um, yeah, just having fun. Uh, okay. Video gaming as well, oh, of, course, video. of course. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Hey, what is it? Oh, over video games? Oh, I'm, oh, I'd love to hear that reason on this one. Things you look for in a woman. Um, I like um, a woman to be herself. Um, kind of. I like when people kind of can meet themselves or mm. who they are and just kind of accept it and grow from there, not kind of like change someone. Oh, you, you're welcome. You're welcome. I, I appreciate you staying this late for for this show. <laughs> appreciate it like hey you're into this i'm into this we can learn from each other so just someone who's open with themselves comfortable being who they are okay and now what are some deal breakers um <laughs> deal breakers for me um definitely smoking cigarettes and um yeah i would just say more so with the just with the what i just said as far as like trying to change like i'd rather grow as each other than just like you gotta do things this way you know mm. things like that okay all right so we did get a few uh yeah y'all remember when i was saying that earlier Maybe he just confirmed what I just said. Pop balloons. Let's go on over there and see why they ended up popping. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Um, hi, my name is Tracy and I'm 37. And the only reason why I popped, I mean, you're handsome. You got it going on. I loved everything that you said. You. I would not have popped, but I had just come out of an 11-year marriage and video games was a major issue for me. So... Yeah, I know you're not that person. <laughs> <laughs> so don't say, you know, you know, the past is not you. But it's just, for me, I don't like it. You know, I, I've never valued a man that played video games. And I'm not saying that, you know, if that's your hobby, you can't play video games. But it's just something that brings up just something very negative for me. So I just. You're pretty much telling this dude that he cannot play video games because you don't like it. So, so is it his problem was your problem? So something had to happen to her to have this type of insecurity about playing video games. I don't know what it is. I don't know where the disconnect came from. I don't know if it was her 11 year marriage and this dude's on Call of Duty and he ended up meeting a chick or a dude and they ended up linking up and she got cheated on. Something had to happen that, that caused this disconnect that she's not being honest with him about. And yes, yeah, she sent up her saying that this dude is just like every other dude in her past or her past relationship, which once again, I find that interesting that it's okay that certain type of women could think that way, but it's not okay for men to do that. Remember what, what Brian was talking about earlier, all right? Just don't like it. Yeah, I don't like the video games. Okay. But everything else, okay? <laughs> 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 All right, and Reggie, is she someone that is your type? Um, definitely my type. I do have a question, though, as far as you're saying, like, for the video games, what type of struggles were you finding with that? Um, just more so time when I wanted to spend um, time together, you know, it's kind of just like the videos turned into leagues and all these things like that. So it was just a major part of the relationship that I felt like we could have spent together. Um, so. OK, I mm -hmm. love that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, thank you. And then we got one down over here. We can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, I'm Shay. I'm 37. Oh, so 
very good looking, well dressed brother. Thank you. So I popped my balloon and I wanted to elaborate on when you say how like are you a gamer gamer? Like you got a game all the time? <laughs> or is it like I wanted you to elaborate? I have a um, almost fourteen year old, so he's 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 a gamer. Right. So when I hear somebody say I'm, I wanna know why this hold up, I wanna know why this dude wearing some J's with with this um with this suit. That that doesn't make any sense. Hold hold up. Let me on rewind it back. So Okay. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, thank you. And then we got one down over here. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, I'm Shay. I'm 37. Oh, so goodness. very good looking. Well-dressed brother. Thank you. So I popped my balloon and I wanted to elaborate. On so what? Why? 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 <laughs> Why he just could have wear some nice dress shoes with, with this whole outfit. <sighs> and the crazy part about it is that these women are saying that he's really dressed. He's dressed nice. I mean, from, from the head down, he's fine. But the mom, moment he put on those shoes, mm -mm. that man, uh, -uh that is so disrespectful of uh, that suit for real. Mm -mm. <laughs> Mm -mm. when you say how like are you a gamer gamer like you got a game all the time <laughs> or is it like i wanted you to elaborate i have a um almost 14 year old so he's 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 a gamer right so when i hear somebody say video games i'm like is it something that's just what you must do like how often how long um do so you have time for like family games <laughs> outside of just video games yeah so when i said i don't know well maybe i did just say video games but i make yeah. games so i like family night like just family fun, sunday fun day stuff oh. like that and just kind of doing different themes like i like to host it <laughs> make it fun so yeah games like that i rarely really have time to video game video game but if you have time for advice you'll you know do it for like 30 minutes whatever you got but i'm a working man so See, <laughs> it's go. not you, realistic anymore <laughs> you can't just say video games <laughs> 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 I put my balloon back together. But no, when I hear that, it's like when you say video games, I'm thinking he going to sit on this game forever. But no, that's the reason I wanted to elaborate. Yeah, like, definitely. okay, what do you mean by that? Because I, I don't mind games, uh -huh. but family games, board yeah, games, definitely. outside games. Okay. Absolutely. All right. Okay. Now, is she someone that is your type? Um, yeah, well put together, well dressed, well spoken. Thank Absolutely. Thank you. All right. <laughs> so... We still have quite a few balloons left unpopped. I'm going to go ahead and have you ask these ladies a question to help us narrow it down. No problem at all. All right. So, so my first question is this. Um, has anyone ever been um, in the entertainment business? And um, do, um, have you ever had uh, OnlyFans? Yeah, that's the question. Okay. Let's start over here with your name and age and the answer to this question. Hey, I'm Mrs. Parker. I'm 39. Um, when you say entertainment business, do you mean like just OnlyFans or do you like, can you specify? Um... So like uh, I would say like dancing. Come come on now, you know good aware what this dude is talking about. Stop the stop the cap. Come on, you you know what this dude. Oh my saying. god, bro! Oh, hell no, man. He's 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 asking, are you a stripper? He's asking, are are you an OnlyFans model? He's asking, are you an IG model? That's what he's asking. It's it's not that complicated. Things like this. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, good. That's good. Okay. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Your name and age and the answer to this question. I'm Chanel. I'm 42. Nice to meet you. And I would say I'm in the entertain. I've never had OnlyFans. Um, I probably would break the internet if I was. <laughs> <laughs> However, I create trivia games. So one thing I noticed, as you mentioned, is that game night. Yes. Well, I have three games that I've created and that I sell them on Amazon. Amazing. Family night, game night, hip hop edition. So I love to host those things as well. So that is the close I'm going to get with entertaining. And then, of course, with my consulting business, I, there's a few uh, networks that I work with as well. So perfect. I love that. Your name and age and the answer to this question. My name is Davinia. I'm 41, and no, I am not in the entertainment business. I never have been, so. Yeah, great. <laughs> name and age, and answer this question. My name is Shay. I'm 37, and I do not have an OnlyFans. I do double and dabble in acting. Yes. That's great. <laughs> Your name and age, and the answer to this question. I'm Janae, 34. Never know OnlyFans. Not my style, but I do sing, and that's the only thing. That's great. You have some music out to kind of do it as a hobby. I do. I wanted to do it as a career, but I'm just focused on something new right now. I respect that. Yeah. I respect that. Thank you. <laughs> Your name and age and the answer to this question. Venusian39. I am a TikTok creator manager, so that's about the only 
entertainment platform I utilize. But other than that, no, I don't have an OnlyFans. All right, great. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so, Red. All right, so, I'm going to guess that the next person that he's going to pop is um, the one in the black... Um, and, um, uh, shoot. I'm thinking about he's going to pop the one in the brown, too. G, I'm going to have you pop two balloons based off of what you're seeing and what you've heard so far. So let me give you a pick. Okay, so Just based two. off the questions. Mm -hmm. Ah, tough, tough, tough. Okay, um, I am going to pop... You're gonna follow me, okay? Yeah, <laughs> pop those two, and then I'm gonna pop this one. I don't one. know where you're popping. Uh huh. And one I'm more. I'm going to pop. Uh, I'm gonna pop this one as well. Okay. Let's... Dang, my the ones I said. What the heck? <laughs> I got that all the way wrong. Start over here, <laughs> and so um. Mrs. Mrs. Okay. Yeah, that's why I was thinking that he was gonna pop the one in black because of her age, because she's like the oldest one up there. Why did you have your balloon unpopped? I was trying to like be patient. You're swagged out. I love your drip. I love the turtle necklace. Thank um, you. just give you a chance. I'm really not into bald heads, <laughs> so I was just trying to like, like not into bald heads. So you want this dude to be walking around with a receipt and her line and stuff like? If that if that dude was petty, if he was like real petty, he should say. Likewise, I'm not into one bald heads neither. Man, that will that will break the internet. God, <laughs> I pop before you came out and just hear you out. Okay, so he's not your usual type. <laughs> <laughs> Again, like you you look good. It's just the bald. No, okay. I'm just trying to you know Got it. really find love and like <laughs> step outside of my box. So. Mm. You know, like for bald head, the less hair you have, the more head you get. Hey, if it works for you, so <laughs> I ain't shaving my head. I don't have no issues. Okay. Jokes. Reggie, <laughs> why did you end up popping her balloon? <laughs> um, gorgeous, beautiful, um, well presented. I think just from some of the answers, I like a few of the other answers better, but that's literally it. Okay. Respect. Thank you. And let's go to the other one you ended up popping. Okay. And why did you have your balloon unpop for Reggie? Um, when he came out, I felt like he was confident. I love the way he's dressed. Yeah, and I just wanted to hear more what he had to say in his energy. Okay, got it. And Reggie, why did we end up popping her balloon? Yeah, same thing. I wish I could have got like a more meat to the bone question, but same type of thing. I kind of like just some of the, little, the other answers well put together. Love the purple. So, yeah. Thank you. Right. Okay. Go ahead and ask these ladies another question. All right, I know you had one brewing. <laughs> yeah, I had a brewing. Had okay. one brewing. So my question is this. Um, how do you feel about um, your partner leading in a relationship? And in your opinion, um, what is the kind of thin line between, oh, this is a man that can lead or this guy's just controlling? Like, what is your kind of difference for that? Okay. Mm, Start over good here. Good question. I'm Chanel, 42. Um, my limitations, what you're saying on maybe feeling that I'm being controlled in my relationship Versus or that a man is leading. Correct. Um, I come from a traditional background. Gender roles is very important. Um, so respecting the man in the household, whether we agree to disagree, um, that's something that I've raised around. Um, public um, respect is very important that I've been raised under, so I would never have a disagreement with you in public. Um, as far as controlling, I'm not really sure what you mean by that. Um, if you're saying that you need to check my phone and you need so, to like. Yeah, so, so I'm not saying that. I'm asking you. What is so, like, <laughs> so I'm asking, um, how do you feel about a man leading in a relationship? And then I'm oh. asking you, in your opinion, what is the thin line between, oh, this is a guy who can lead versus, oh, no, this guy's just controlling? I just love a man that can make a decision, you know, make a decision and go with it. I'm a Capricorn. So, um, I'm a realist, so if I see that you can't make a decision, then you can't lead, and then eventually I'll step in and make that decision, and then you might feel like that I'm overstepping you. So it's just more of a man um, knowing what he wants. I'll follow, you know what I'm saying? And if I see you got it, you know, I'll wait till you get there. But if you just, 
if you're too far off with leading, especially someone that has businesses, um, very attractive, um, get attention, there are some things that a, a certain type of man for me, um, they have to be a certain type of way and they have to be able to stand in front of a lot of challenges with having an attractive woman and all of the assets that come along with it so that you can stand there with your, you know, your head high. You remind me so much of my husband, I'm, my ex-husband, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I love the, the bald head. I, my family, my brother is, you probably have every Jordan that ever came out. You did very well putting it together. So thank you. I'm just looking at you, that's all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go to our next lady. We can have your no, name each. No, them, them, them Jays is not working with that outfit. At all. I don't know what is going on with these women. I think it's because it's the Jays. Uh, that I just honestly think what it is, but uh, uh, he he's not doing doing that that suit justice at all. Put with with them Jays. Period. I'm not just saying. He, <sighs> but that's just me. In the answer to his question. Davinia, I'm 41. Um, the answer to your question, I actually desire a man that can lead, a man that can make sound decisions, a man with a plan, um, but a man that also considers my needs, my wants, my desires, and my happiness. So if you're leading and you're not considering my feelings or what makes me happy or what I desire, then I think that that can become a little controlling. Um, like if I want to go out or if I want to go with these friends and you're like, you know, well, no, you know, if we have plans, I understand. But I think that's my fine line. But other than that, I, I desire a man that can lead. Not all men can lead. Absolutely. Great. Let's go down here. If we can have your name and age and the answer to his question. Hey, I'm Janae. I'm 34. Um, I think a man is created to lead. So I don't mind a leader. I think that's what I'm attracting as far as controlling. Um, if you're too possessive, um, and it's not what you say, it's how you say it. So, yeah, leave. That's your job. <laughs> I respect <laughs> it 100%. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Your name and age and the answer to this question. Venusian, 39. I think um, every relationship starts with a foundation. Transparency and honesty, trust is a main factor. So I think when we are developing that, the leading comes with when we develop that foundation. And once we have established that, then I can trust you to lead me. So when you're asking for my phone or asking what I'm doing, then that I feel like then you're encroaching on my space. And that's something that I don't, I don't subscribe to. So right. that's it. Yeah, great answer. Okay. All right, Reggie. <laughs> Let's go ahead and pop two balloons. To be honest, if you if you look through the whole thing that she's saying, um, this is really not a good answer. Cause in other words, she have a problem with men leading because she equate leading into submission, which is submission comes into controlling. And so she has an issue with that. But, you know, that is me. <laughs> all right, all right. Um I mean, I just have to comment. All those answers was, yeah, <laughs> gets given. Okay, um, but to pop two. All right, I'm gonna go here, pop this one. Doesn't want to pop, <laughs> and I'm gonna pop this one over here as well. <laughs> all right, and why did we end up popping her balloon? Um, yeah, once again, I mean, all the answers were along the same lines. You definitely. Um, I love the qualities that you're saying and just same thing as I said, I just like a little bit of the answers a little bit better, um, but gorgeous, great answers. I just like the other ones a little bit better. Okay. And why did you have your balloon unpop for uh, Reggie? I liked his style and I wanted to hear what he had to say. Okay. All right. And then we ended up popping this one. Why did we pop her balloon? Um, I'm beating the same drum, huh? <laughs> um, something yeah. different. Something different. Okay. So for, I mean, you gave a great answer, though. Um, so <laughs> I'm just going to say, um, yeah, I, I liked your answer. <laughs> Everybody gave her along the same line answer, but they played it their own way. Um, so, you know, it's kind of like a show where you're kind of, you know, I'm the guy with the, the stick, you know what I mean? So it's like hearing the answers, like if, if everyone's giving me an A and it's like, oh, this one made a bit of A plus, then I just like the answer a little bit better. That's I would approach you if I seen you like there's nothing wrong with you, I, my type, all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. Got it. And then why did you have your balloon um, unpop for Reggie? 
Um, I think Reggie's handsome, well spoken. Um, I think I've seen him on another show, so I was trying to kind of <laughs> wait and not judge by what I've seen before. So I mean, but we're good. Okay. It's a good guy. All right. So, ladies, any <laughs> questions for Reggie? Okay, let's start down here. Hey, Reggie. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about celibacy? Um, so pretty much waiting until marriage. Is that? Yeah. Um, I would say, so I'm, I'm very spiritual, right? So for me, it's like who you give your body to, it's like soul ties to me. You know what I mean? 100%. So you want to be, you don't want to just be out here going wild. <laughs> so, so yeah, so I would say I will respect if that's, you know, decision you're making and, you know, we can have conversations about it, things like this, but you want to get to know the person before you just like soul ties is a real thing. You don't want to attach your soul to someone. And then, so I respect it, honestly. I love that. He um he really 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 is not trying to be celibate at all. That's bullshit. He's not. Which I you here here here's my take on this. Okay. Whenever I hear women who they already procreated not once, not twice, but three or four times, right? The term celibacy should be deleted from your vocabulary altogether. The term celibacy shouldn't even be in your mind whatsoever because you're not celibate. You're not a virgin, okay? You're not. When I hear, whenever I hear women say this, right, automatically, I be, automatically that's a red flag to me because what they are trying to do is trying to control the narrative. They sit up here trying to punish this dude because of the other dudes prior in the relationship. Hell, it's almost as though as they sit up here judging, okay? They judging this dude and they want this dude to take accountability for all these prior dudes that they dealt with. So that sells be that sells be I can't even say y'all so sleepy, but that's some bull crap for real. So I that to me I, I believe that that should be a deal breaker for him. I believe he should pop a balloon on, on that one because that, that's crazy. Especially being, being a baby mom. That's bullshit. And then one more. Um, how do you react when you don't get what you want? Um, communication, conversation. I'm big on, on talking and things like that. So if it's something like I want that, are you talking about like within myself or like with my partner? With your partner. Like say if you wanted me to do something um, how do I say it? Just anything. Say you want me to do something. I'm like, I don't feel comfortable with doing that just yet. Would you shut down? Well, you did say communication. But yeah, just, yeah. Yeah. Something so, like that. No, no, no. You, like I said earlier, like trying to change someone into a, your liking is like you have to meet the person where they're at and kind yeah. of grow with them. That's how you're going to have longevity. That's how you're going to, you know. No, nah, no, nah, bro. She she's sitting up here trying to reconfirm the celibate question. Okay, she's trying to say like, hey, you you saying this right now that hey, you're comfortable with this, but what if I end up provoking you to end up being into that moment? How would you handle that? That's pretty much what she's saying. How would you handle that? I provoke you to that moment. We end up kissing and stuff like that, right? We kissing and I rub on you, you rub on me. Then we, we get to the peak of finally just wanting each other. And I stop you and say, no. How would you handle that? That's pretty much what you're saying. Being a tease. You know, make it further and you, you get a lifelong partner. For yeah. me just trying to, or anybody just trying to change someone from the beginning, that it never ends well. So, yeah, absolutely not. I like you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have kids? Yes. How many? Two. Two. You did say that. Okay. Good. Wonderful. Yes, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Any questions over here? Um, how old are your kids? Um, thirteen and fourteen. Do you want more kids? I just always said I would have another uh, kid with a wife. With the wife. So you want to get married? Uh, I, it's definitely in my vocabulary. It's in my plans. If I find the right partner, absolutely. Because I do. Have you ever been married? To the Lord. I've never been married. It's just making you laugh. Oh. <laughs> where where did you say you're from? Uh, so from Virginia. You live there now? No, I live here. Oh, what part? Here? Mm -hmm. Um, Avondale. Oh, okay. All right. Um Do you cook? Um, I'll motivate you in the kitchen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I cook. Okay? You're not gonna motivate me. But do you know how to grill? Um 
It's not the best. <laughs> it's not the best. <laughs> okay. Other than that, I don't know. I don't have any other questions for you. Okay. All right. Reggie, time to make a decision. <sighs> so we've got two beautiful ladies. Absolutely. I know it's going to be a tough choice, but we do have to pop one of their balloons. If he go for the old girl in the orange dress, that dude is a beta male. Beta! He's a straight up beta male, but let's see. Great questions, great answers, great outfits. Everything is literally beautiful. But if I have to pop one, I'm going to go ahead and pop this one. Thank you. <clears throat> pop it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Pop her balloon. You did a great job. Why did we end up popping her balloon? Um, man. Um, I feel like we were met be, be, because of the sellers before. Just, just be real with it. you. You don't want to wait on her terms to have sex with your your potential wife. That's what what it boils down to. Um, well, I, I feel like you are you spiritual. Very. Yeah, because when I mentioned the soul tie, I see how you kind of lit up for that. So yeah. I feel like we would have mentioned that way. Um, <laughs> we're beating the same drum, but literally, <laughs> I think just from all the questions I've asked, all the questions that's been asked to me, I match with her um, a little bit more. I love how intentional you are, and Absolutely. I hope you find your match. Definitely. Respect. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> let's go on back. Okay, let's bring you on up. Come on up. Come on hey, up. Hey, okay. I, I am shocked that she survived this round, but shout out to her. Because I didn't think she would. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So any final questions between the two of you before? Any questions for me? Um, yeah, I have one more question. One more question. Okay. All right. So my question is this. Um. So my family dynamic is kind of different. Like I'm not necessarily close to my biological family, but I've had friends who have kind of become my family. So my question to you is this, um, what are your thoughts on family? And as far as your family is concerned, like how does their opinion on the person you're dating kind of affect the relationship? I have a very big family and we're very close. Um, very respectable, like I said, gender roles. It's my, their opinion is very important to me because I spend a lot of time with my family whenever we're together. Like right now it's the holiday weekend. I have family here until tomorrow. They've been here for a week or so. Um, we get together, we have, you know, and we bring our significant others. Okay. Um, so cool. I'm not sure how comfortable you are in that environment, but my family's gonna ask you questions and they're gonna wanna know what you're about and I'm gonna pay attention to that, so. That, perfectly answered, perfectly answered. Oh, well, <laughs> is it gonna be a yes for you for him? It's a yes. Yeah. Is it a yes for you for her? Absolutely. We got a match! <laughs> I'll go ahead and take this mic. And Shout out to her surviving that round. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single. All right, so so, so I told y'all that we're, we're just going to stop it here. All right, so well, when I go live again, uh, we, we're going to pick up where we left left off then we probably look at another episode as well too all right so once again thank y'all so much for staying up this late uh for the first half of the stream when i did my dj and then the, the second half of the stream when i did the um papa balloon uh episode you know i said i appreciate it a whole lot thank y'all so much i i really really do appreciate it for real i do Like I, like I was saying um, before, make sure you have your notification set when I go live so I could provide this good quality content for y'all, okay? Other than that, y'all have a real good weekend, and I'll see y'all again on the next episode. Peace out. Y'all have a great, great weekend if I see you. <laughs>